So seated posture, again, you're welcome to sit on uh, whatever prop that serves you uh, to raise the hips up a little bit, make the lower back nice and comfortable. And we also wanna pull the flesh out from underneath you to also encourage the natural curves of the spine and relax the lower back as well. Um, let's go ahead and place the hands onto the thighs or knees and we'll just take a nice little circle here with the shoulders inhaling up by the ears and then exhaling slowly circle back and down, nice deep inhale. Exhale, open the mouth, all out to that half down, inhaling. Exhale, open, Let's try that one more time. Deep breath in and exhale, open. From here, let's go ahead and slightly lean back so you feel the shoulders are stacked above the hips and you draw the navel towards the spine, slightly supporting your, your spine here. Feel your corset is um, supporting you, but not tight or constrictive. And the hands again, just resting softly onto your thighs or knees. And close the eyes down and find uh, a gazing point between the eyebrows with the eyes closed. Or of course, if you're ever uncomfortable closing that, the eyes, you're welcome to find a still gazing point out in front of you. And let's go ahead and uh, bring the right hand on top of your heart and the left hand over top of the right. And again, rooting down through the seat as we lengthen through the spine and widen through the chest, heart space, the shoulders broad and wide allowing your breath to just naturally rise and fall here. And feel the breath perhaps moving down into the bottom of the belly, the pelvic bowl all the way up to the top of the chest. And also some movement side to side and front and back it's in all directions allowing the breath to gradually and naturally begin to expand and lengthen. Maybe focus on creating longer, smoother exhales. This will help the inhales to naturally become a little more expansive. Emptying out slowly and completely with each breath. So as we move forward into the new year and create space for our new intentions, our resolutions, and as we look to uh, make improvements, and I'd also like to offer to you that uh, we remember also to hold space for perhaps even our old patterns and and or traumas or wounds to create space and hold space to allow them to heal. And that we settle into an energy of acceptance and compassion for what is, even as we look forward to the new. And that we do not condemn or shame or make wrong or bad the past, the present or the future. But that we look to all of it. We hold space for all of ourselves, all parts of us with compassion, with love, And that we also do this for one another as we're able to do this for ourselves. And from that space, again, taking a nice deep, slow breath in whenever you're ready. 
And exhaling everything slowly and completely out. Let's go ahead and bring the hands to a Lotus Mudra. So uh, bringing the pinky, the uh, outer edges and the, the inner edge or the thumbs, the pinkies and the thumbs together and opening through the palms, almost like a cup here and allowing ourselves to receive what is here with us right now to receive this moment to receive our breath to receive the energy that you may feel to receive the teachings and then from that place it's going to take a nice deep slow inhale and raise this mudra up overhead of this lotus as we exhale, press the palms all the way down by your sides. And once again, let's bring that Lotus Mudra back through the center, back to the heart as we inhale, raising it up overhead. As we exhale, a strong Ujjayi and audible breath. As we press down again, deep inhale. And exhaling. And again, so we're able to embrace fully our hearts and our whole selves. Exhale. Embrace all that is. And deep breath in. And exhale. But we're able to press down and ground anything that may no longer be serving or anything that we, um, any distractions, so that nothing holds us back or distracts us from our pure and radiant health. Let's try that one more time. Nice deep breath in all the way up. And exhale. Beautiful. And just take a few moments resting the hands onto the thighs or knees again. And observe. All right, from here, let's go ahead and shake out the legs. Shake out the knees a little bit. And we'll swing the legs around and come onto our shins here, perhaps sitting back onto the heels. And if you're not able to do this, um, sitting onto your, your heels here, you can put something again underneath you or sit in a chair or something like that. So we're gonna inhale, coming forward and exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhaling back, inhaling forward, just moving our spines, nice deep breath, and exhale, one more time, and exhale, right, from here, we're actually going to move this uh, back to our seat, so again, we'll find a nice seated posture, pulling the flesh out from underneath you, I'd like to concentrate this kind of um, flexion and extension uh, through the lumbar spine as well. So we're going to root down through the sits bones and take this slowly again, inhaling forward, exhaling round. So again, you can feel this a little bit lower. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Just awakening our spine and the chakras or energy centers in our bodies from the ground up. So rooting first here. Inhale. Exhale. Again, and just moving gently. You may not be um, coming to as much of a, a spinal flexion or extension as I am. Just listening to your body and what feels right for you today. And then from here, just start to circle around slowly. Again, this um, needs to be a very gentle movement that you're really listening your body, especially if you have any lower back issues. So again, this can be even slower. It can be a smaller circle, but really listening to uh, your body and also your breath there. And for me, I like to uh, take a nice inhale forward as we exhale going back. It can also be a really cleansing breath and movement for your body. 
circle around the other direction. And again, if it, it, if it does feel like you're, there's something going on in your low back or anything like that, keep your circle nice and small and feel the work more in your, in your core. As I'm doing now, I'm not moving as far around and I'm really keeping it kind of contained here where I'm feeling most of the energy here in the center of the body. All right, and from there, let's go ahead and shake out the legs. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And let's kind of, again, pull the flesh out from underneath you. I tend to round and slump, so I gotta always remember that and um, kind of reposition to really sit up nice and tall. So uh, bring your hands into fists here and go ahead and give yourself a nice little massage all, the, all over the legs. Just thumping, waking up all the subtle energy channels through the lower body. Awakening anything that may be stuck or held. Again, those old egoic patterns that can also be held in the body. Waking them up. And then go ahead and bring the hands to the tops of the feet. And we're going to drag the hands from the feet all the way up the legs, all the way up through towards your center here on all sides. Um, again, to help lift that energy up and out. And it's important to remember that um, some of these things that we, uh, that may not be so desirable for us that we hold in our bodies or our minds or um, our spirit, <clears throat> that it's not something that we're trying to get rid of necessarily, um, but that uh, we can allow to be released and to be seen and heard, um, that we can learn from them what it is that we need to learn. Otherwise, they, they tend to, if we repress them, they tend to come back up um, and uh, with sometimes even full force, right, and come back to haunt us. <laughs> All right, so from here, I'll swing the legs around and sit back, um, come onto our shins, sitting back onto the heels. Once again, now we'll move through more through the upper spine here. So inhaling forward, exhaling back. And again, this motion might be smaller for you, just, just depending on what feels good and right today. It's a powerful breath, inhaling forward, exhaling back. A couple more. And then from there, we'll take a nice deep inhale, come back to center. If we can inhale a little bit more and then find the locks, find the root lock, uh, lifting uh, perineum in and upward. So finding the, um, the muscles deep down and low inside the end, then drawing your navel to spine locking uh, the belly lock, Uddiyana Bandha. You can also find the chin lock, Jalandara Bandha. So we're kind of containing all of that energy there in the center of the body. And then as we exhale, releasing the locks, letting the head slowly come back to center. Just take a few moments here. Let the palms perhaps face upward towards the ceiling or the sky, uh, back to the hands onto your thighs. And just take a moment and notice what you feel as you breathe. You might begin to feel some shifts or changes in energy in the body. And if not, that's okay too. And then from here, let's bring your hands to your shoulders. So the thumbs, thumbs are pointing back and the four fingers are wrapped around the front here. 
um, if that's okay. Let's see if we can hold that position, keeping the elbows up. We're gonna inhale to the left and exhale to the right. So I'm gonna be opposite of you. Now you wanna um, take this breath through the nose and it's a powerful audible breath and maybe even pumping the navel towards the spine on the exhale. But if you're not able to breathe through the nose uh, for whatever reason, you can also exhale through the mouth. Now go ahead and also, um, so same thing here, only move as far as feels good and right for your body today, or and uh, also moving as slowly as you like. But also let your head and neck release and follow that twist. So we don't want the neck to become stiff here. We wanna let it flow freely or move freely with your, the rest of your spine. This cleansing motion or this uh, twisting motion is really cleansing and detoxifying and helps us to also see a new perspective and let go of fears or doubts that might be holding us back. And then from here, coming back to center, take a deep breath in. Inhale a little bit more. Again, feel, see if we can lift and find the root lock and the belly lock, be able to spine, and maybe even the chin lock. Hold it, holding the breath, let it swirl, that prana, that energy swirling around. And then as we exhale slowly, releasing completely out again, let the hands maybe rest onto the tops of the thighs here, palms can face up. And continuing to Move that energy up through the chakras, up through the spine. And if you need to, again, we can shake those legs out. Wiggle, 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 shake the feet, shake the knees. And find a new cross leg position. You can cross the opposite leg in front here or whatever serves, whatever feels good. Sit in your chair. Uh, inhale now, shoulders up at the ears. We're gonna squeeze and exhale, drop. So just continue to breathe, squeezing and releasing as feels natural for you. Nothing to worry about here in the belly. It's all about the breath and the shoulders right now. You want to start building that warmth, that fire, and burning up anything that no longer serves. more. Last set. From here, inhale up. Inhaling a little bit more. Maybe a little more. Hold the breath. Find the locks. Drop the chin in towards the throat. Lifting everything inward and upward. Hold it. And then as you're ready to exhale, slowly releasing. From here, go ahead and drop the chin towards the throat, relax the neck. And very slowly at your own pace, 
just start to move your head around either in a half circle or first full circle or in whatever way feels right for you today. Again, very slowly. <clears throat> it's releasing and stretching the neck. Again, in whatever way feels good for you. So if you're moving in a in one direction, I'll let you know here at about the halfway point so that you can also do the other side or the other direction equally. But for now, just keep going in that same, moving in that same way, whatever feels good for you. And follow your nose all the way around. And then when you're ready here at that halfway point, we can start to move in the other direction. Balance our movement here. And also allowing your breath to lead you, guide here. One more breath, finishing it up. All right, from that place, let's go ahead and take a nice deep, slow inhale, reach up towards the sky. And as we exhale, slowly bring the thumbs towards the third eye. Maybe gently press the thumbs against the third eye between the brows. And then back to the heart center. Again, deep inhale, circle the arms up. As we exhale, gently bring the thumbs to third eye. And those pressure points and back to the heart. One more time, deep breath in. And exhale, back to third eye. And back to the heart center. All right, from here, we'll go ahead and swing the legs, uh, maybe shake it out here in front of you first. And then we'll swing the legs around, um, bring them forward actually here on your mat. Let's go ahead and roll down through your spine and we'll do some core activation um, as well and uh, glute work to also activate and strengthen our uh, stability and ground here, be able to ground ourselves firmly. So we're gonna uh, rock gently side to side, holding onto the knees. Now feel free here to push your knees into your hands, create some resistance and also find that stability and support for your back. As we maybe rock side to side, maybe pedal the knees back and forth a little bit. Again, pushing against the hands, pushing those knees against your hands as you rock. All right, from there, let's bring the um, thighs back in towards the chest and lift the heart and chest up here, making sure that we keep the energy concentrated here in the center of the body and our core um, and keep it out of the neck and shoulders. If you find that your neck and shoulders become tense, just lay the head back and give it a rest for a few breaths and then come back, uh, regroup when you're ready. So we're gonna hold on to your right shin, extend the left leg out long. Now remember this leg doesn't have to be so low. It can be um, anywhere in between where it feels right for your body. We're gonna exhale powerfully through the mouth, inhale, switch. And again, exhale, powerfully through the mouth. Making that SH sound is also um, and pushing that breath out powerfully, it's going to activate and engage the deeper pelvic floor muscles uh, or the transverse abdominis. Shh, shh, shh. So that's what we really want to check in with here shh, and activate. Find that warming sensation shh, shh, in the center of your body and low down in your belly. Shh, shh. 
Now again, if you need to lay your head back, maybe your legs go a little bit higher. You can always rest your head back here and still work those deeper pelvic floor muscles, especially if you're using that breath. And you can always come back up again, as long as you're really rooted down into the earth and feel this in the center of your body. A few more. Last two, last one, hold it. Good, and hold it back. So bring it back. And go ahead and release the head and neck. Slowly side to side, just give it a nice little stretch. Breathing through. And then from here, let's take a double leg stretch. So we're gonna keep the head actually resting back and then just reach the arms out, uh, arms and legs out as far as feels good. Again, the legs as low as feels comfortable for your back. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, inhale, lengthen, stretch. Exhale. Now, if you want more, you can lift the heart and chest up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Exhale, and again, slowly resting back. Let's bring the legs here um, up to a little higher than 90 degrees. So the ankles are slightly higher than the knees and the knees are stacked above the hips. Arms are just gonna reach back here behind you as you inhale, stretch. And as you exhale, root down to those lower ribs and reach the fingertips towards your feet. And then inhale back and just keep the arms Maybe halfway back here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We can lift up as high as we can. And then keeping neck and shoulders comfortable. Not straining them. And see if we can hold it at the top for a moment for an extra squeeze. Inhale. Extra squeeze. Inhale. And last time, we're going to hold it up. Inhale a little bit higher. Reach, reach, reach. And exhale. Release. From there, hands underneath your buttocks here. So the palms are facing down. And your bottom, uh, your cheeks are resting on, on the tops, or the backs of your hands here. So we inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower the legs again. Only as low as feels comfortable. Hug everything to your midline. And uh, exhale back up. Inhale, sorry, lengthen down. Exhale. So wherever um, more of the work is happening, that's where we want to expire. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. So the lift. Exhale. Inhale. 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 Two more. And last one. Good. We're going to keep the legs straight up now. Spread through the toes. Inhale here. Exhale. So you can reach for those toes. Keep those legs straight up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last time. Exhale. Inhale a little higher. And exhale. Release. This time we're going to bring the soles of the feet together. Bend into the knees. Soles of the feet together. Knees out to the side. And again, pull the flesh out from underneath you. And bring the legs into Supta Baddha Konasana. Arms back behind your head. Interlace the fingers. So stretching the arms out. Interlace your fingers pointing index fingers in Kali Mudra. So this is the the fierce goddess that can sort of slice through. This is her sword here. It can slice through any self-doubt, um, any old egoic patterns, anything, again, that may be holding us back. As we inhale, lengthen, and as we exhale, 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So we can sort of really cut to the chase. We can see and hear exactly what needs to be seen and heard. And cut the rest of the bowl, I guess, out of there. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Exhale. Inhale just a little higher. Exhale. Release. And from here, we're going to bring the arms again back behind the head. And we're going to slowly lift, keeping the legs in that body point off. So lift the legs and lift the arms like we're doing a crow pose. So we want to try to squeeze the upper arms with your inner knees. Squeeze upper arms with inner knees. Legs are still in that diving shape. And then inhale, slowly, slowly make your way back to your Supta Baddha Pranasana, stretching the arms back. Exhale again, very slowly. And think you lift your butt up off the ground, lift your hips up. Inhale, slowly back. And again, exhale, slowly up. And we wanna lift those hips for a little extra. Again, inhale, slowly back. Exhale, slowly up. And lift and hold like we're doing a crow pose here on the ceiling. And then slowly release. Go ahead and stretch the arms and legs out here. Nice and long. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. And just let yourself, let your whole body melt into the earth. Relax your shoulders. You can bend the elbows, holding onto the fingertips or a fingertip or two. And just take a few moments again, come back to the breath. If you'd like, you can also rest your left hand on your heart, heart center and right hand on your belly. Just check back in. And so while we move forward with this strength and this energy and motivation, you can also come back to soften and again, hold space for whatever is in need. Anything that may arise for us that maybe we weren't expecting or that we feel might be a setback, but that we can hold a kind and loving, compassionate space for that to be seen and heard. Balancing, harmonizing, also the doing with rest, the effort with ease. From that place, we'll go ahead and walk your feet back up onto your mat, toes slightly angled in and heels slightly angled out. Um, make sure that ankles are directly below the knees here and the knees are pointing straight forward. You're going to press down into both feet and to all parts of your feet equally. As we inhale, raise the hips up, stretch the arms up and back behind you into your bridge pose. Now again, only going as high as feels good for you. And then exhale, slowly coming back down. And we want to be careful not to raise the hips so high that we're arching our back. So we inhale, root down through the feet. You want to feel your glutes and hamstrings, inner thighs. So under the thighs. And the inner thighs engage here as you exhale down. Again, inhale, root down, stretch it back up. This time as we exhale, draw navel towards the spine. So drawing, lifting in and upward in your low belly as well. And then from there, inhale, reach the arms straight up. Exhale, bring the elbows in underneath you. So we're pressing into the upper arms and the shoulders a little bit pointing your fingers towards the ceiling like a, uh, like a robot here. So we're gonna inhale halfway down, exhale and squeeze and lift. So again, we're not looking to lift up 
really high, but we're looking to find that support and that um, sort of engagement activation through our glutes, our buttocks, our hamstrings, and our inner thighs. And we're pressing into all parts of the feet to do that as well. If you tend to favor um, your lifting up on your toes or you're pressing back into your heels or something like that, then we're not getting that full activation as we could be. So really try to press into all parts of those feet. All 10 toes throughout the whole foot. So again, we're just going um, dynamically lifting up and down through this. And we're just kind of hovering above the ground. We're not coming all the way to the ground so that we can keep that activation going. That warming, again, building that fire. Stay with that breath. Last time, we're going to stay up here. Again, not too high, not too low. Just right where you feel that work happening through the inner thighs, the glutes, the hamstrings. We're going to slowly move the knees out away from each other while trying to keep the feet grounded um, pretty much. And then bring the knees back to center. So you're just slightly moving the knees out apart and then back in to get uh, towards center. Apart and in, apart and in. So now we're working the external rotators here of the hips and the glutes. Breathing through this. Strong legs, strong glutes for your back bends. Really important, any back bend that you do. This is your foundation. Breathe through, this is your support and stability for your spine. A few more. In and out and in, good, hold it. Interlace the fingers underneath you, let's roll the shoulders back, take a nice deep breath in. Let the belly inflate like a big balloon as you exhale, navel towards the spine. Nice deep slow inhale again, inflating the belly. Exhale, navel to spine. One more deep breath, hang in there. Inhaling and exhaling. Slowly sitting back onto your hands. Gently rest there. And then release your arms and shoulders. Let's go ahead and bring the soles of the feet together, knees out to the sides. Once more in Supta Baddha Konasana. Take a few more breaths here. And we'll stay in this um, Baddha Konasana. Just the right knee is going to come in towards your chest, squeezing that right leg in. Get a little compression on that side. And then bring that right leg over to the left, stretching out the glutes and coming into a nice gentle twist here for the low back. So we want to keep that right hip stacked above the left, get it all the way up and over so that the pelvis is congruent and flat. And that's your true twist there. Deep cleansing breath. And that's really the safest place to be where your, your pelvis is congruent. If we kind of tilt or, um, uh, yeah, I guess if we're tilting those hips or they're uneven, then that's when we can create havoc through the low back, especially. But anywhere up the chain can be affected. Deep cleansing breaths here as you rest. And maybe again, getting a little bit of a stretch through those glutes that we just worked. Coming back to center, let's hug that right knee back into your chest. And then we'll bring the right foot to meet the left back in Supta Baddha Konasana. A moment there. Notice what you feel. Notice the difference between the right and left side. And from that. One twist. 
We'll bring the left knee in, squeeze and hug it in here. Creating some compression on the left side here and then gently bring that left leg all the way over to your right, stacking that left hip on top of the right. Open up the left arm, turning your gaze over the left shoulder, release the back. Deep, slow breaths here once again. Come back to those longer, smoother breaths, those longer, more complete exhales. Maybe also observing the pause or that little moment of stillness between the breaths at the top of the inhale and at the bottom of the exhale. One more big full breath here. Opening up through the heart space, the chest, ribcage and lungs, fully and completely. And then as we're ready to exhale, bring that left knee back into your chest, hug it in for a moment. And let's bring that left foot to meet the right, back to Supta Baddha Konasana. Notice what you feel. Breathe into whatever needs breath, space energy, light. And then let's go ahead and fold the legs in together here. Again, if you'd like to hold on to the knees and do a little bit of that rocking, pedaling, pushing the knees into the hands, sort of recalibrating here before we roll onto our sides and push up slowly. Let's find that seated posture once again, just for a moment. Close the eyes and observe what you feel. Let the breath naturally rise and fall. From here, we're going to swing the legs around and come onto our tootsies, our feet, our toes, curling them under, sitting back into the heels. And again, allow your bottom to really be behind you, a natural curve in the back. Take a moment here, maybe closing the eyes. Just notice what you feel here. I'm here to help open up the shoulders and also the wrists a little bit. We're gonna bring the elbows uh, and wrists together with the palms facing up towards the sky. Take a nice deep inhale. Try to bring those el elbows up over your head. And then slowly from there, bring your hands behind the head. So the backs of the hands are still together and we're curling into a fist. And then we'll go to turn the fists upward to point up knuckles towards the ceiling. And then we inhale, reach up. As we exhale, we're going to open and close and circle the hands all the way around. Go ahead and face you for this so you can kind of see as we come down. So again, inhale. Exhale, the hands come to fists. And knuckles towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale. Sorry, we can circle the wrists here if you so, if that feels good. Inhale. Exhale. Knuckles towards the ceiling. Pause, inhale. Exhale, circle, or just float the hands down, whatever feels right for you. Let's try that one more time. Inhale, exhale. Knuckles turn towards the sky. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Good, and then release here off the toes. We're gonna come onto your fists and separate your knees about hip distance apart, circle the toes and ankles around. Flex and point, let's circle the other way. And then relax your feet here and give them a nice little step and massage. All right, and we'll bring the feet and knees together and sit back into the heels, gently lifting the knees up, stretching through the shins and the tops of the feet, the ankles. 
And then slowly coming back through center. Let's go ahead and come onto the hands and knees, separating knees about hip distance apart here. Pressing into the fingertips here as well. And we're gonna just gently send the inner thighs up and back as you look up between the brows. And then as we exhale, let's go ahead and round through the spine. So um, starting, initiating from your pelvic floor muscles, curling in and up. Head is the last thing, so the chin comes in towards the throat. And then again, we start by sending the inner thighs up and back. Relax your stomach, relax your belly as you inhale, look up between the brows. And there's a little lift there at the top. You can feel the pelvic floor lift up at the end. And then exhale, feel the pelvic floor engage to round through the low back and then all the way up through mid and upper back, all the way to your chin, to the throat. Again, nice and slowly. Moving like a beginner, like this is your first time ever moving this way. Exhaling slowly, slowly. Rounding. Once more, inner thighs go up and back first, and then slowly let it come back up through your spine. Look up between the brows at the very end. This time as you exhale, look back towards your tailbone. Inhale, looking up between the brows, back to center. Exhale, look all the way back the other side towards your tailbone. Inhale, back to center. This time as we exhale, let's go ahead and bring the hips over to the left as your right ear comes towards your right shoulder. And then moving in the opposite direction. So we're flexing the spine side to side now. So hips and head go in opposite directions. Right. And then see if we can kind of circle around. So let your, your lower back, let's say, lead this circle. So we allow kind of movement through all of those parts, through the cat, the cow, and the flexion side to side. And we're circling, again, maybe leading with your belly button or leading with your lower back around in one direction, and then circle it around the other direction. And remember, again, we're um, only moving in a way that feels good for you, so. Be careful not to overarch your back or anything like that. Keep it supported here from your core. And it almost feels like you're, uh, whatever you're allowing to lead, that, that that is initiating, that is moving you. You're not doing anything here to manipulate, but that part of your body that's leading is what's moving you. All right, from there, let's move into the shoulders a little bit. So kind of sink and hunker down. Um, let the shoulder blades lift up, like you're retracting the shoulder blades, trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then press into your palms, into your fingertips, and push the shoulder blades apart as you press your upper back towards the ceiling. So again, we're gonna retract shoulder blades, and then press up and protract the shoulder blades. Retract and protract, all the while keeping your core Engage, drawing navel to spine, even as we retract, keep that core strong. Retract, relax your back though, and press. Retract and press, good. And that's the same thing we want in our downward dog or any kind of inversion where we're um, bearing weight on the shoulders, right? We want that external rotation of the shoulders and that protraction of the shoulder blades. So we're pressing upward, pulling the shoulder blades apart. Let's go ahead and sit back into your heels for a moment. Knees up, uh, slightly apart or as far apart as you like. And go ahead and stretch your arms out in front of you. Maybe come up onto your fingertips, forehead onto the mat, or you can also rest your forehead onto your hands. And just stretch the outer shoulders there for a moment. Deep cleansing breaths. Through the spine. all the way into the back body, into the low back, the back ribs, feel the breath expand side to side, front and back, and the space behind the heart. And then slowly from there, let your arms drag up 
towards your body, roll into your spine vertebrae by vertebrae. Just take a moment here as you stack tall and observe what you feel. From there, root down uh, through your knees and take a nice inhale, reach up. Palms together to prayer and exhale, let's circle the arms all the way back and come back onto all fours. Send inner thighs up and back as we inhale, look up. Exhale, let's go downward facing dog, Adho Svanasana. Lifting the hips high uh, and again, externally rotating the shoulders, protracting them, lift the shoulders up by your ears, pulling the shoulder blades away from each other. You wanna bend into your knees, alternating as you gently walk the dog. You're also welcome if you're feeling really tight here, um, either shoulders or your legs or hips, you can also separate your hands and feet as wide apart as you need to. I like to always start off about mat distance apart, at least for the first one. Let's kind of ease into the stretch here, You're walking the feet a little bit. Do whatever feels good for you. And let's go ahead and walk the hands back towards the feet and turn the toes to face out a little bit and sit back into your malasana or down into your malasana or uh, yoga squat, pressing the elbows into the inner thighs or knees here, pressing them outward, externally rotating those hips and fingertips can come together. And you're welcome to stay here. If you need to be up here a little bit like um, a halfway point, you don't have to drop the hips all the way down. You can also um, have your heels up if you need to too. Another breath. As we exhale, we're gonna press down through the hands and feet and turn your toes forward, heels straight back to bow forward fold. So again, um, let's be about mat distance apart with your feet here if you're not already. And then bend into your knees here uh, and hang onto your opposite elbows. So hanging your head and shoulders heavy as we sway gently from side to side. You can also bend into the knees as you sway. Or you can just shift your weight from one leg to the other and just see how that feels. We're really breathing deeply and try to let your upper back stretch here through this um, inversion. Just let it hang heavy. And then maybe from there we uh, drop the hands. You can bend the knees and shake your head side to side. Up and down, just loosen the neck. Circle around, whatever feels good for you. Bend into the knees here. We're gonna ragdoll, press down through the feet, really ground to roll up to your spine. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Shoulders up by the ears as you inhale. Exhale, back and down. Let's take a nice inhale, reach up towards the sky. Palms to prayer. Exhale, we'll come down the center again to the third eye and the heart center and drop the head and the arms down. Ragdoll, so arms and head are heavy. Rolling down, bend into the knees as much as you need to. All the way back down. From there, we're gonna turn the toes slightly out and heels in as we come back to your malasana yoga squat. Nice deep, slow breath in here, lengthen. And as we exhale again, we're gonna press down to walk it forward. So hips go up, walk forward into plank pose. Tail go down towards the heels, press into those fingertips, protracting the shoulder blades. Inhale, tail down. Exhale, we can lower the knees and go forward. Elbows stay stacked above wrists as you come halfway down. Then come all the way down to the ground, arms behind you, palms facing down. Press into the hands and the tops of the feet here as we lengthen the spine, inhale. Maybe lift through the heart center. And exhale, squeeze the triceps in. We're going to press it up. And exhale, slowly up and back to down to facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Walking the hands back towards the feet. Once again, walking the feet out, toes slightly out, heels slightly in, back to your yoga squat. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. As we exhale, let's bring the left arm out. Uh, to the side here, we're still pressing against that inner thigh, right arm up and see if we can open through the heart space. Deep breath in. And as we exhale, we can sweep that arm forward and over. And again, pressing the arm against the thigh, externally rotating that hip as we inhale, open, 
lift the heart center. Exhale, we can sweep it down and forward. Walk the hands forward here, maybe round through the spine, tucking the chin. One more deep breath. From there, we're going to press into the hands and feet again. Toes forward, heels straight back. Bow forward, fold. Inhaling, lengthening the spine. Flat back. Exhale and fold. Again, we're going to bend into the knees, press into the earth to roll up. So really feel how grounded and connected you are to the earth as you roll up. Shoulders up by the ears. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach back up towards the sky. And again, as we exhale, come right down the center. Bow forward. Let it hang. Drop the head and arms all the way down. Inhaling, lengthening, flat back. Exhaling, toes pointing out, heels slightly and drop back into your malasana yogic squat. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, we're going to lift the hips up as we walk the hands forward and stretch all the way into your plank pose. So we're going to bring the hips to face forward again, tailbone straight down and back. Inhale, lengthen, protracting the shoulder blades. Exhale, lower chaturanga if you like, or you can lower the knees, elbows stay stacked above wrist, halfway down. And then come all the way down. Let's squeeze the arms in this time. Point the toes. Long sternum raises. We inhale to cobra. Lengthen the spine. Exhale. Squeeze it in. Let's tuck the chin. Inhale. Curling cobra. Squeeze those triceps into your ribs. Exhale. Again, inhale. Strong legs and glutes to support your back. Strong triceps. Hug me in the midline. One more time. Tuck the chin. Inhale. Squeeze. And exhale. From here, we're going to press up, squeeze it in. We can press up onto the knees or into a full plank. And then bend the knees and hover as we lift the hips high in your bear pose. And then to downward facing dog, Adho Bhagavad Again, really spread through the fingers, plug in through your hands and feet. Feel your shoulders raise up towards your ears. Feel your, your back expand, your upper back expand here. And Protract. Feel your hips way up high, away from your shoulders as you press. Another deep breath. From here, let's go ahead and walk forward, looking forward, see where you're going. Inhale, halfway flat back. As we exhale, deep in your fold. Let's go ahead and sit back like we're in a chair here. Hook your right thumb in front of the left. Spreading your fingers wide. So we're hooking thumbs as we inhale. Spread the fingers. Reach up. Look up. And as we exhale, we're going to sweep the arms back. Let go. Interlace the fingers behind you. Stretch your shoulders. So again, you can still bend the knees here. Focus on stretching the shoulders. Or if you like, straighten the legs. Or stretch the legs as far as you like. Another deep breath. Exhale. Releasing the hands down. Inhale. Lengthening. Exhale, let's send the left leg back, big, huge step, quietly landing. Lower down your left knee, uncurl the back toes. We're going to hook the thumbs again here as we inhale, stretch it up. As we exhale, come up and over to your right. So we're really planting through that right big toe mound, that front big toe. Come straight side. Inhale, hips and shoulders stay square as you come back through center. Exhale, we're going to hug the legs towards each other as we go to the left. So really keeping the core strong. Stabilizing the hips here. Inhale. Like we're trying to pull the thumbs apart. Stretch those shoulders. Lift the heart. Exhale. Releasing from here. Lift that. Curl the back toes under. Lift the back knee here. Left hand underneath you. Right arm toward the sky. We're going to hug that right hip in and back. Take a nice deep breath here. Exhale. If you want more, press down into your feet as we inhale slowly. Use your legs and your core to rise up. Exhaling here, open. So again, turning ourselves to a new perspective. Inhale, we can reach that left arm up if you like, right hand towards your sacrum or to your back side. Take a nice deep breath in. Stretching as you root down. Exhale, we cartwheel the arms. Come back to center as we inhale to plank pose. Tail down, exhale up on your tippy toes, elbows above wrists, halfway down, lower down. Roll the shoulders back, inhale to cobra, strong legs, point those toes. Press your tailbone into the earth. 
Exhale, reverse the push-up. Inhale, back up to bear pose. Bend the knees, exhale, stretch. Inhaling, uh, downward facing dog here, lengthening the sides of your body. Exhaling everything out. Another deep breath. Bring that left leg slowly up towards the sky. Come on, your tippy toes to start. Flex the foot, pinky toe, outer thigh, rolling towards the earth, rolling downward, pushing through the heel. Raise up strongly on your standing leg. So your standing leg's more important here. Another breath. Exhale, left side to your chest, lift that heel high. Step it forward. Let's go ahead and lower that right knee down when you're ready. Uncurl the back toes. Left knee above the heel. Let's hook the left thumb in front this time. Inhale. Spread the fingers wide open. The heart center. Lift up your chest and your belly. Exhale. Press into that left big toe as you come up and over to the side. Directly side here. Hips and shoulders stay square. Inhale as you come back to the center. Exhale. Hug the legs strong now. Squeeze your legs towards each other as you come up and over to the other side. Away from the leg. Inhale. Back to center. Lift the heart again, stretch the shoulders as you pull those thumbs. Now break them apart, release, come down as we lift that back knee up, curl the back toes under, right hand underneath you, left arm towards the sky. Let's hug that left hip, pull that left butt cheek in and back. Open through the heart space here. And widen, deep cleansing breaths. You can stay here, or maybe from here, root down through both feet and lift up into your nice open, Twist, open arm twist here. You can also bend the back knee as much as you need to. Hug the belly in. Feel your core is strong. You're welcome to stay here or bring your left hand to either your sacrum or your right thigh. Right arm reaches up and look up if you like. Take a nice deep breath in here, lift the heart. And as we exhale, we cartwheel the arms forward. Pushing off the back foot, let's come forward. Bow forward, fold and stretch. Deep breaths. From here, inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhaling and fold. Let's hook the left thumb in front again as we sit back in your chair. Deep, slow inhale as you come up. Stretch, arching upper back here, strong legs. Exhale, sweep the arms forward and all the way back behind you. Release the hands. Interlace the opposite forefinger and thumb on top as we come back to yoga mudra. Bow your head. Stretch the shoulders. <clears throat> Another deep breath here. You can stretch the legs if you like. And exhale, release the hands. Stepping big, step back with your right foot. Almost through a warrior three. And very quietly landing back, nice and long. Bend into the back knee, root down through the legs as we inhale. Come all the way up into a high crescent lunge. Now again, you're welcome to stretch the back leg as long as you can keep your core strong and your low back is comfortable or stay lower to the ground, <clears throat> stay a little bit more stable here as we uh, lower ourselves just a little bit. So we inhale, reach up. So we exhale, I want you to pull the arms down into this strongly right by your sides here. Inhale, reach up, exhale, inhale, strong breath, strong voice and throat, exhale, activating the throat chakra as well. Inhale, ha, where we can really speak ha, our truth. Ha. Inhale, exhale, ha. inhale, exhale, ha. without fear. One more breath, ha. and with courage, inhale, exhale. Ha. Inhale from here, we're gonna stretch that back leg. As we exhale, sweep the arms behind you in yoga mudra. Interlace the fingers, bow your head. Stretch the shoulders. Couple deep breaths here. Stretch that back leg long if you can. Root down. Keep those legs strong, those feet grounded. One more breath. Exhale, release the hands down, lower that right knee down. From there, uncurl the back toes. We're gonna inhale, lift the back knee. Pressing into the top of the foot, exhale, lower. Again, inhale, root down to lift. Exhale, very slowly, gently lower down. One more time, inhale, lift and hold. If you want more, you can reach up 
Woo. Feel the burn. Take one more breath. Exhale. Lower that, the hands down and the knee down. Stretch through the front leg. Let's go ahead and wiggle that foot forward. Take a nice deep inhale. Lengthen. And as we exhale, again, you can bend this front knee as much as you need. We're going to soften with a flat back, though, over the leg. So, again, not important to hug the leg here or touch your nose to your knee or anything like that. What's most important is we keep our hips square. So bring that right thigh, that back thigh bone up and forward like you're moving into the splits. So the hips are really square to the front. Both hips are facing forward. And your low back stays nice and flat. Breathing deeply. You can also turn the toes out and in so that we're internally, externally rotating from the hip and sort of loosening up the hamstrings here in different areas, in different ways. Kind of loosening up there through movement. We can also circle the toes around a little bit. Breathe. Good. And if it feels good for you, you can find some stillness here. Again, still um, pulling that right thigh bone up and forward. So it's a constant kind of <clears throat> work and almost like a resistance here that you're breathing into and moving towards. But not moving beyond that point of resistance. Just moving towards it and breathing through it. Softening as much as we can through the breath. And if you're at a point where there's no softening happening, no way, then back off a little bit and listen as you breathe. Let your breath guide you more deeply when, you're, when your body's ready for it. Take another deep breath here. And as we exhale, we'll go ahead and lunge forward. Relax through the hips a little bit. Let's bring that back foot up towards you. You're welcome to stay here, or maybe you can reach back for the foot. Pull your belly button towards your spine, stretching through the quadriceps here, or the tops of the legs, tops of the thighs. <clears throat> this is also helpful for our back bends to loosen up the quadriceps. The under, under, under the legs and the glutes are strong, <clears throat> but the quadriceps can be a little bit more relaxed and loose and stretchy for those back bends. All right, from here, let's go ahead and press into the fingertips, step it back into your plank pose, tailbone down as you inhale up on those tippy toes. Exhale, <clears throat> excuse me, elbows stay stacked above the wrists, lower down. Shoulders back as you inhale, strong, long legs. Exhale, let's reverse the push-up. Inhale, press up. Exhale to your bare pose, bending the knees. And then downward facing dog. <clears throat> Lengthening through the sides of your body. Again, protract the shoulder blades, externally rotating those shoulders too. Navel towards the spine, hips are high away from the shoulders. Beautiful, stretching your right leg, maybe up on your tippy toes first. Right leg up as you inhale, outer thigh and pinky toe pointing downward. Strong standing leg. Another deep breath. Exhale when you're ready, thigh to chest with that heel high, and then step forward. Bend into that back knee, root down to rise again to your high crescent lunge. Nice deep inhale here. And again as we exhale, <sighs> inhale. Exhale, ha. inhale, exhale, ha. really strong to your core, ha. inhale, ha. connecting to the center of your body, ha. connecting to the throat chakra, ha. finding that courage ha. in thought, ha. word and deed, ha. inhale, ha. inhale, ha. inhale. 
Ha. Inhale. Ha. One more time. Ha. Last time we inhale up. As we exhale, we're going to stretch the back knee as we float forward, flat back. Scoop the belly. Stretch the arms behind you slowly. Interlace the opposite forefinger and thumb on top. Bow your head. So now bow and here humbly. Deep cleansing breaths. So we can balance that energy of strength and courage, motivation with this humble energy that is soft, receptive, accepting, and compassionate. A couple deep, slow breaths. Hugging that right outer hip in and back. And slowly, when you're ready, releasing the hands down. Lower that left knee and curl the back toes. And we're going to inhale, press into the top of the foot, lift that thigh. Exhale, gently lower. Again, inhale, lift that thigh, strong back leg. Exhale, gently lower, strong front leg. Front leg's burning. Inhale, lift. Now, if you want more, reach up, use your core, lift the heart. Pressing into the top of that foot. Exhale, slowly release, gently down. Very nice. We can stretch that front leg out here. Wiggle that foot forward. And then again, we're going to square those hips by pulling that left thigh bone up and forward towards the front foot. Bend that right knee as much as you need to. Use your blocks or your props here if you need here. Or bend the knee more. You want to make sure that low back again stays nice and flat. Again, find that place where we're breathing into that sort of resistance. We're breathing into that gentle pull. Sending breath or prana, life force and energy. Sending healing. Slow, smooth breath. Maybe again, we can turn the toes from side to side, <clears throat> externally, internally rotating that hip, loosening up that leg. Maybe you're circling the foot around. So you might notice, you know, maybe one side needs this, one side doesn't. So just do what feels right. I generally like to balance both sides, but if you feel like, oh, this is not really doing anything for me, then you go back to stillness and whatever it is that you need. Left thigh bone up and forward. Deep cleansing breaths. <clears throat> Take the next deep inhale here. When you're ready to exhale, <clears throat> lunging forward. And spread through the fingers nice and wide. We're going to push the back off the back foot to come forward. Interlace the opposite. Actually, sorry, we're just going to fold forward here. Now into the legs, deep, slow breaths. Okay, sorry. I think I lost you guys. Uh, my earbuds went out. Okay, so we're back. We're still forward folding. Feels nice, hopefully. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen through your spine, flat back here. Exhale and deep in your fold. Let's go ahead and spread through the fingers wide and step back into your plank pose this time, inhaling. Exhale up on the tippy toes, lower. Halfway down or all the way down to the earth. And at some point there, all the way down. 
And then from there, let's go ahead and come into that nice cold breath. Inhale, squeeze in, lift through the heart center. Exhale, we're going to reverse that push up onto the knees and then come into your child's pose here. It's going to melt back into the heels. Deep cleansing breaths. Slow and smooth. Into the back body. We're going to slowly sit back into the heels to drag the arms back up, rolling through your spine. Head is the last thing to rise. We can keep our eyes closed for a few moments. And just notice what you notice as you breathe. And from there, slowly bring the legs out from underneath you and come all the way forward onto your mat. Let's go ahead and take a little um, hip opener, one more hip opener here, bring the soles of the feet together, knees out <clears throat> in Baddha Konasana again, rocking onto the sit bones, pulling the flesh out from underneath. Um, you're welcome to hold the feet together. You can hold the shins or the ankles. You can also um, <clears throat> fold the feet out so that the, palm, the bottoms of the feet or the soles of the feet are facing you in cobbler's pose. We're really pressing down through the, the legs and the hips. Take a nice deep inhale here. Exhale, we can fold forward with a flat back and use our elbows or even our hands. I like to use my hands to give myself a little bit more um, to help stretch the outer hip here. And for this pose, we're not trying to go as deep as we can uh, or stretch our lower backs here. This is all about the, the outer hip area. So feeling the stretch in your hips, not in the back. So if that means you need to come up a little bit or flatten your back a little more, please do so. Slow, deep breaths. And if you are one that tends to over uh, stretch in the external rotation, <clears throat> then we're going to hug in at the same time. We're going to squeeze our, our hips together while we gently stretch. <clears throat> All right, from there, slowly coming back through center. We're going to now bring the feet a little bit further out. So bring your foot one foot in front of the other and then meet the other foot uh, with it to kind of open this up. So it's a little bit of a longer Baddha Konasan. So maybe you can see from here. So it's about a foot and a half or so away from you, your feet are. And pulling the flesh out from underneath again, maybe holding onto the shins this time, take a nice deep inhale. We can open through the chest, the heart space and the throat a little bit here. And as we exhale, as we bow forward, rounding through the spine now. And palms can face up towards the sky. You can let your forearms rest onto the ground and see if we can bring the crown of the head or the very top of the head to the center of the feet. So taking the crown chakra um, to rest on the feet if possible, or if you need to put like a block on your foot, your feet or something like that, you can also do that. And we wanna get a really nice round spine here. And this is a nice stretch for the low back. And this is uh, Parasana or the goddess of compassion. So settling into that energy of compassion again, that we can, be fully accepting, first of all, aware, but then fully accepting of what is. That we hold a space of love and compassion for even the dark, even the parts of us or the parts of others that we may not fully understand. <clears throat> but we can hold that space of love for it. As we embrace our heart and soul, as we embrace the present moment, the now, and be open to all that it has to offer, all that it has to teach us, 
Be open to the breath or spirit. Listening deeply. Another deep breath here. And as we exhale, we'll slowly roll back up through your spine to the moment here as we stack tall. Observe what you feel. Whenever you're ready, we'll go ahead and fold the legs back in together. And let's go ahead and come forward onto your mat. So the feet are slightly uh, forward of your mat. And again, rocking onto the sits bones as we pull the flesh out from underneath. Legs are about um, a little wider than hip distance apart. So like about how you like to have your Shavasana here. And then we're gonna root down through your seat, pressing down through your palms, facing forward, fingertips facing forward. We're gonna press down through the palms and the legs to pull the toes up and back and feel your core engage here. So rooting down to rise up through the spine as we inhale. As we exhale, let's bring the chin towards the throat. Bring it to Jalandhara Bandha. Emptying everything out. Another deep breath here. And then as we root down, find the root lock, the belly lock, and the chin lock. Holding the breath. Exhale slowly everything out. Relaxing the legs. We're going to pull the toes back one more time as we inhale. Lift up through your core. Reach up. Exhale. We're going to uh, paint out in front of you through the palms. Bow forward, fold, holding on to the outer edges of the feet or the big toes. Let's tuck the chin once again. Now relax everything here. There's no, no lock to worry about. Just hug the chin in towards the throat. So that's the, the only lock I'd say. But focus more on breathing into the back body. So we're like sort of curling in on ourselves and really filling and emptying our entire back body with breath. Let that breath or prana really permeate each and every cell. As we listen and breathe and feel, we can observe our body's natural capacity to heal and to recalibrate and to harmonize, to balance. One more breath here. And then as we exhale, we're gonna roll down through your spine, slowly vertebrae by vertebrae. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Lower back the mid and upper back relief when you're ready. Coming onto your mat in Shavasana. A few moments here, observe what you feel. And walking your feet back up onto your mat. Let's go ahead, um, slide your hands underneath the lower back as you wiggle the sits bones apart. And we're gonna take the, uh, the feet up and maybe holding onto your shins or the outer edges of your feet or the big toes. Just come into a little happy baby or a Nanda Balasana. Actually rotating through those hips, pressing your sacrum or the back of the pelvis into the earth as you maybe rock side to side gently. And then bring your feet as wide apart as the mat is and your knees up toward, pointing out towards the ceiling. Let the knees fall to one side, stretching through your hip flexors and the side waist. Gentle twist. And let the knees fall over to the other side. And then coming back to center, this time we're going to bring the hands to be underneath your buttocks. So the palms are facing down uh, and you're sitting, each cheek is sitting on top of your hands, right? So find the, the most comfortable part to rest on your hands, palms down, stretching the legs nice and long. Squeeze the arms in underneath you. So we're going to squeeze uh, lift your shoulders up and squeeze your arms underneath. Roll those shoulders back as you press into your forearms and your elbows to lift your chest up, your sternum towards the sky, and head back, resting on the crown of your head. If you're not able to uh, let your head go back that far, that's okay. Just go as far as feels comfortable. 
resting onto the top of your head, whatever part that you can reach there if possible. Again, we're pressing down to lift the sternum up. And find the balance in that so that we're not pushing down so hard that we're not doing any work here through the upper back. So we want to lift the sternum from, from underneath, from behind you. A deep inhale. Let the breath expand side to side, front and back. Exhaling, drawing navel towards spine, feeling the support underneath you. Deep, slow breath here, expanding side to side. And feel your sternum lift towards the sky. Keep your neck relaxed here. One more breath. As we exhale, we're going to tuck the chin into your throat. So we're going to lift the head all the way up. Suck it in, tuck it in. And then slowly roll back down to lie on your head or the back. Relax the neck. And then, of course, release your hands out from underneath you whenever you feel ready. Let's walk the feet back in and bring your hips or your buttocks over to the right side of your mat. Bring your knees up and over to the left side. Open up your right arm, turning your gaze over the right shoulder. So very gentle, supine twist. You're welcome to take any variation of the twist that you prefer here. Some of you might like to cross your right leg on top if you need a deeper, and you feel like a deeper twist would serve you. Hips pressing down away from the shoulders. And then just find your breath again, allowing your breath and your presence and awareness to do the work. Again, anything that you notice that may arise, whether it be a physical sensation or a thought pattern, um, anything that may be going on emotionally, that we hold a space of love for it, that we are that space of love for it, without judging it, without needing things to be different, complete and whole just as you are, perfect in this moment, just as you are, all is coming and all is well. And slowly coming back to the center again when you're ready. Let's bring the hips back to the center of your mat. Just take a moment there as we neutralize. And then we'll bring our hips, the buttocks over to the left side of the, of the mat or the room and bring the knees over to the right. Open up through your left arm, turning your gaze over the left shoulder again, releasing the neck. Deep cleansing breaths. And feel free to modify or uh, vary this twist, the supine twist, however feels good for you. And allow yourself to free up and open up. Breathe the breath. Heal what needs to be healed. Love what needs to be loved. Become the, the parent that you've always wanted for your inner child. Full of acceptance. Full of compassion and understanding. Whether we understand it mentally or not. But this feeling of understanding is there. This energy of knowing all is well and everything is on its way. Slowly coming back through center again when you're ready. Feet down. Let's bring your hips again back to the center of your mat. Take a moment here, sliding your hands underneath the lower back, wiggle the sits bones apart. 
and then slide the legs out from Shavasana or belt from underneath you. Make yourself as comfortable and warm as you need. And allow yourself to settle in and give yourself to the earth, trusting the earth, the sky, the universe has got you, got your back. And that all the abundance, all the healing, all the love, all the space that we need is available to us. We only connect to it and just stay with it, be with it. Just be. And take a couple of slow, deep breaths. And gently as you begin to awaken fingertips and toes, start to walk the feet back up onto your mat. 
and hug the knees perhaps maybe in towards you as you wrap the arms around the legs. Tuck the chin in slightly towards the throat. Feel the whole length of your spine from your tailbone all the way through the back of the neck, rooting into the earth. Take a couple of deep, slow breaths here. And rolling onto your right side into a fetal position, right arm as a pillow underneath you. And stay here for a few breaths. Again, coming back to this symbolic reaper where we can begin anew, where we can be reminded that we are held and supported and loved. By the space, by the breath, by ourselves, by the universe. So we are connected to all that is. And pressing into your left palm to rise, keeping the eyes closed and the gaze inward. Let's find a nice, tall, and comfortable seated posture when you're ready. And just taking a few moments here as we root down. Observe what we feel as we breathe. Perhaps cultivating a sense of gratitude with each breath. As we observe our body's natural ability and capacity to harmonize. We observe our true self and our true nature as deep peace and wisdom that dwells within. Joining the hands together by our heart center in Anjali Mudra or prayer, lifting the heart slightly up towards the hands as we bow the head in towards the heart. And taking deep cleansing and nourishing breaths here. And sealing our practice and our intentions with gratitude. And if you'll join me with a round of Aum. Inhaling slowly as you're ready. Exhaling slowly and completely out. And deep breath in. And I'm humbly to all that is. Thank you for practicing. Namaste.